Welcome to my blade tonight. It's me, Blazix. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a good day. I know I am. Wonder why? Because it's my birthday today. Happy birthday to me! As of today, I am 24 and I am ready to take on the world. Yeah, um, this video is kind of pre recorded and I'm most likely at work today. But I definitely wanted to celebrate with you, which is why this is a premiere. Uh, say hi, Blazix. I know you're there. Yeah. I just commented. Um, so this is going to be a bit different. Because you want to know why? We're going to be opening up plushies. So I ordered a couple plushies that finally came. And I'm honestly super excited to show you. That's the whole reason why I really want to do this video. And just to make it special, it's on my birthday. So that's the other reason that it's super special. Um, so I got some boxes over here that I'm going to have to cut open. I also got some, some of these little bad boys. Most likely some of you already know what this is. <laughs> but I'm ready for it. I'm ready. I'm ready to open these packages. And so um, without further ado, let's get started with the big one. Ooh, I don't, I'm already liking it so far. <laughs> I'll open it down below so that you guys can see. Ooh. Wait, is that flat? And that's the whole reason I I can find it. Never do an unboxing without a box cutter. Some of you already know what this is, because I already spoiled it in my server. But we have the limited edition. So rare that you basically have to see it to believe it. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, ladies and nights of all ages, allow me to introduce King Chonk. My goodness. Was I honestly surprised to get this big, big boy up. On screen, it, it is a very big boy. Now, if you guys remember when SMD4 hit 5 million subscribers, he did a live stream and he had this big monstrosity in the video. And, relatively speaking, it's. It was, I saw it, I thought it was ridiculous. What, what else, else am I thinking? This is SMD4. And I can use this in a video. I can definitely use this big monstrosity in a video i have some i have some plans for thick boy right here and I, I i just love the chunks in general i have a couple i'm not gonna tell you which ones i got you're gonna have to stay tuned the channel to find out because they will make an appearance soon but um yeah i do like i like king chunk i think he's probably the most single expensive thing i've ever bought well, one of them anyways. But I, def I definitely love the plush. plus. It actually is incredibly big. If I could just go ahead and get the, the Theo and Tari plush out, I would. But, like, this is a very big plush. It is so big. Like, look. It is almost as big as my... From my head going down up to my um, torso. I'm not that small, but I ain't that tall either. But like, look at, look at this. Look at this. Look how big he is. Look at this big monstrosity. My goodness, that is a, this is a huge, huge plush. It's big. Like, this is so big. Almost could be a pillow too. Somebody did guess that it was King Chunk that was going to be in the video. That was Nia. Oh my gosh, I didn't even notice the jewels on the crown. So these... I'm childish. <laughs> so, if you can see closely, you can see like the jewels on the... On the crown. Look at that. That is some... That is quality right there. Obviously, I know they're not real, but... The detail. The detail on this big monstrosity. That is awesome. You gotta give props to where props are due. Like, honestly, this is such a 
Oh my gosh, this is very soft. I could fall asleep on this. I could use this as a pillow. Good lord. I might just be a fan of... I'm a, I just might be... Um, it is really soft. This is a really soft plush. Good lord, this is soft. Um, yeah, um... The only reason I bought it is because I can use this in a video. Like, you guys have to understand, this is a very huge plush. Like, the camera is not doing it justice. Like, I... Like, the chunks are, like, so small you, you can fit one of them, or all of them, really, in your hand. Or at least three of them, anyways. But this... I have, I have to hold it up with two hands because it's so big. Look at this big monstrosity. It is huge. It is big. It is king sized. And it it, it just, granted, it does like work for 42 bucks by around the time I bought it. But like, generally speaking, this is so soft. My goodness, this is very soft. I might just, I might have to do a jump cut because I'm, this is very, very soft. As, as you can see, I, I love the King Chong plush. He's, he's, he's awesome. He's soft. And frankly, he's adorable. So, King Chong. Next, we're going to be opening up this small one. Now, I kind of have an idea of what it is, so I'll leave a guess down below. Ready? Good. I already know who it is. Oh, my Lord. So most of you already know I bought this blush because it's it's a character I really enjoyed. It's a character that I think generally deserves the love. And um yeah. Actually by the looks of it, he It's a really it feels really different from the other plushies, honestly. I mean, I I'm gonna have to get him out later, but let me just Actually, I'm going to do a jump cut because I'm going to do. I'm going to go get the other plushies. Ready to find out who it is? Good. Because it's going to be somebody really special to me. It's somebody that I've been wanting to have as a plush for a while now. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, blaze and nice of all ages, allow me to introduce you to one of my favorite characters. Yes, the Axe. It is I, Axel! The Axelot! I have made it to the Blazix Reacts channel! Be sure to see me in video soon, people! Yes, Axel is by far the. Wait, there's something else in here. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. There's a how to care for Axel do's and don'ts. Look at this. This is adorable. Instructions. Do hug Axel. Don't kick Axel. Do draw with him. Don't draw on him. Do not leave him alone. Do introduce him to friends. Do lots. Do love him lots. Don't forget he loves you. Oh my gosh, that is so wholesome. And people say Axel's not a wholesome character. Look at this face! So, as most of you guys know, this was made around the time when Axel was killed off in Watt V 2021. Meaning he would not show back up in videos ever again. Um It actually and actually I'm I'm gonna miss him. He's one of my favorite characters and still is to this day. The poster isn't up here, but Axel is and will always remain my favorite character. He's not going to lose that number one spot. But the fact that I have him 
as like a in it in plush form. He's so like he looks incredibly small when compared to the other plush. Want to know what a big difference? But let me go get her. So I have Tara here, and look at this. Like they're roughly around the same size, but look the legs look. Eh. But you can definitely see the height difference. Like here's here's Tari and here's Axel. Like there's a definite height difference between Tari and Axel. Like he looks more condensed. Like I bet he could sit up. The the bad thing about these plush the Meta Runner plushies is that they have a hard time standing up. This I think would have a better time sitting up. Sitting up. Um yeah, I think that's awesome. He has his little canisters full of ink. He sadly does not have Ink Weaver. Which is kind of a missed opportunity because he, he needs Ink Weaver. Otherwise, I don't feel he's Axel. And this is kind of a dumb thing to say because of this character. So, as most of you guys know, he has a scar over his left eye. And as you can see in the plush, he does not have the scar over his left eye. And I wasn't going to buy it just because of that. Like, yeah, that's such a dumb reason, isn't it? It is. It is a very dumb reason. Oh my gosh, this is so... This is freaking adorable. Look at him. Look at him. I could... I could fanboy about Axel all day right now. How did they... How did they kill him off and make a plush of him? And he's adorable. Look at this. Look at this character and tell me he ain't wholesome. Look at this beautiful, beautiful face! My goodness. I love this character. I'm going to have to introduce him in videos soon. Soon, but he has to be like... It has to be like a grand entrance for when he's introduced. Because I can't just introduce him just willy-nilly! Like, seriously, I... I've, I've been trying to come up with an idea for him, but I don't know if I'm going to actually go to route same route as MD4 did and introduce him as a manga. Because obviously I want to introduce him as an anime fan, but I don't know how I'm going to introduce him. Like, this is a cute, adorable character right now. Good lord. I love Axel so much. He's one of my favorite characters. Like, the, the amount of detail on it. Even his little shirt I, I love. Like, goodness. I, I cannot, can I just talk about how SMD4's plushies are always awesome? The Meta Runner plushies, the Sunset Paradise plushies, the, just all the plushies in general look freaking awesome. Like, generally speaking, it is it is amazing how far SMD4 has come with its th content. And it goes, when it when it comes for his fan, goes towards its fan, because a lot of these this is a limited edition plush, too. Like, him and King Chunk, both limited editions. So I'm grateful that I actually clutched a big one with this. Like, this is... This is gonna stay with me forever. And I'm probably gonna give it to my kid whenever I have kids. Like, though... We're like... Dad, why did you give me this? Because this is my... You will know the legend of Axel. My goodness. Do I love this plush. Now that we got me fanboying about Axel out of the way, we can get on to the real stuff. And I want to do this last because this is going to be a long, the longest part of the video. I can already tell you. Now, these boxes. So I have two boxes here. And they both have plushies in them. Um, This isn't... I'm going to say this right now. It's not Nintendo, it isn't Sega, it's not Among Us. Don't know why everybody assumed it was going to be Among Us. Um, no offense to the character designer for Among Us. I just, I didn't like the way the plushies looked. I don't think I'll ever buy the Among Us plushies. They just don't look on the up and up to me. It's not that the character designs are bad. It's just, I don't like the plushies. I don't think they they look good and they're... Kind of a waste of time to buy, in my opinion. If I bought them, they'd probably be used for one video, and then I'd probably give them away. 
but I didn't think that they would be important to actually buy. But, if anybody said Toku, you would be correct. So essentially what it is, is this is a series that you may have heard of, but not have heard of. Let me explain. Most likely you've heard about Power Rangers, am I right? Most likely you have. So, most of you know that Power Rangers came from a series called, in Japan, it is called Super Sentai, and from, um, if any of you are Super Sentai fans, you know that the series is actually older than Power Rangers, like really old. Like Power Rangers, I want to say came out in the 90s. This, I don't remember where, when Super Sentai came out, but, um, this series, this franchise has hit 45 years. Actually, it'll be 46 years in 2022. So, um, yeah. That'll tell you how long, how, um, how long it's been around. Power Rangers isn't even that far because they even haven't even localized all of the seasons. There are seasons that even Sentai has not even done. So, uh, yeah. Or Power Rangers have not done. So, um, yeah. So, what's in here are Super Sentai plushies that I want to have in this series. I just don't know how to introduce them as of yet. But, again, it's still a ways away. And I kind of want to get into it. And I'm super excited. And I can't open it without my box cutter. Let's get into it. I'm opening from the bottom, by the way. Want to know why? Because my cousin basically found this box and opened it from the from the top and thought it was his. I'm not joking. I almost gave him what for. It wouldn't I'm not angry that he opened the box, but to think that he thought it was for me even though it's my name on the box. I don't know what he was thinking. So I had to I had to give him a, a good talking to him basically. So, I'm actually super excited to open this. I've actually been wanting to, a reason to open this box on camera. So, here we are. And, if anybody said Toku, I'm going to give you a partial shout out. Oh my lord. My goodness, they already look awesome. <laughs> Let's actually get started with the first one out the box. Um, so, most of these characters are not human, but are human-like. So, let's, let's get be ready for that. So, we have the Yellow Ranger, a.k.a. the one that I hated initially at the beginning of the series. GONE! So, essentially, what with this franchise is that it hits 45 years. But for this season, they really wanted to go all out and make a, not a reference to the 35th anniversary, but kind of like do its own thing while still making reference to the season before it. So, they all made, so some of the characters are not human, but based off of seasons prior to it. So we have Gown, who is essentially a robot, and the plushies have not even done him justice. But, um... He's, a suppo he's supposed to be like a lion. Actually, I, uh, yeah, lion. So on the back, there's like a cute little lion emblem. I never knew that about, about it, and I've seen the series. So, Gown is actually based off of a season that is localized over here in the States. What we know it as is Power Rangers Wild Force, but for over in Sentai, it is known as Haka. Hayak Huju Sentai Gal Ranger. Yeah, my Japanese is gonna be horrendous. I am so sorry. Um, it is based off of that. It is also based off. He's also based off of the Yellow Ranger, while also referencing the Red Ranger when he transforms into Sentai. No, wait, no. Yeah, yeah, Sentai Gown. So he has another form called Zenkai Gown, which is based off of the. Uh, 
the mecca of that season, Gao Kane. I'm going to put the picture right now. So there is what he looks like in in standard human civilian form. And that's what he looks like as a Zenkaiger. And then I'm also going to put a picture of Gao Kane right in the middle. So that you can see the reference there. Yeah. And Gao kind of isn't one of my favorite characters at the beginning of the series. But over time, he kind of became my favorite. And that's kind of the whole thing is with Zenkaiger. It was just silly for the sake of being silly. And I really do, did enjoy the series. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, it still is going by the time of this recording, so yeah. Oh, it even has a little tail. I'm going to get him out of the box later, but look at that little tail. Oh, isn't that cute? Well, yeah, I'm, I'm super excited to finally be bringing this out to you guys, and I'm super excited to actually have him in my possession, because it's really, really cool. Next, we have... Oh, this is cool. We got him out of the way. So we have Room. The Blue Ranger of the group. So, Room is also based off of a season. He is based off of Power Rangers Operation Overdrive, as we know it here in Power Rangers. But over in, in Sentai, he is it's known as Gogo Sentai Bokinger, an adventure season. Not even joking. I've seen, seen half of it. It's pretty cool. So, Room is kind of the stereotypical... Mm, know it all but he's trying to learn it all he's essentially one of those characters that that i did not like on on immediate contact but i kind of grew to love him he's just not personally my favorite character of the bunch right now but he definitely still has a place on the team as being being one of my as comic relief i guess you could say i, I really do enjoy him like, the plushies don't really do it justice, but I do love the details of them. Like, look at that. That is so cool. They even gave him his glasses. I thought you can move it. Oh, you can't move it. That's so bad. I guess you can't move it in a series either. Whatever. Um, so, he does have another form called Zenkai Vroom, which is based off of Daibo Ken, the mecha of that season. I'm going to put a picture of him right now so you can guys can see. Yeah, there he goes, Daibokin, Zenkai Vroom, and Vroom himself. Honestly, I do like the character. Plushies all look really great, and I do love it. Like that. Rough. Yeah, start with him. Also have... Uh, this is the season most likely you have all seen, and... The one that probably got the most hate over here. Here when it was translated to Power Rangers. But this was a big season that was loved when it was their anniversary season. So we have the world pirate himself. Zox Gold Tweaker. Now, this is a character that is introduced in episode 9 as a pirate. And generally speaking, I just love the character. He's he's honestly my third favorite sixth ranger. But the thing about him is he doesn't really join the team. He just kind of helps the team, on honestly. And I really do enjoy the series. Enjoy him in the series. Honestly, I love the detail on him because we have our... He's one of the only humans that we get in the series. And I definitely enjoy his character. So, we also have his... His ultimate form, Kaiser Go Power! Yo ho hoy! To Kaiser! So this is Zox, and this is his other form, To Kaiser. So, To Kaiser is based off of Kaiser Sentai Go Kaiser. A fan loved season, a fan favorite season of Sentai. But we know it here as Super Mega Force. Why make it? A sequel season to Megaforce is beyond me. I don't know what they were thinking. Who cares? Whatever. It's over now. But. What I like about this is that they gave Zox. His alternate hero form. Or pirate form. Whatever you want to call it. And as you guys can see. There's a lot of gold. He is the gold ranger. He is Zox gold tweaker. And I just really like the suit. It is a, it is a really nice suit. I'm going to put a picture of it right now. It is honestly based off of Gokai Red, and it's not even obvious that they just basically 
took the helmet, added some more stuff here and there, and just said, yeah, you're a new, you're, you're a go Kaiser, but not go Kaiser. But if you actually pit two Kaiser with the go Kaisers, it actually looks like he fits in with the team very well. It's actually really well done, and I gotta applaud them for it. But he is not based off of any mech in this, he's just based off of the Red Ranger. So that's something I can really applaud. Next, we'll be moving on to... Yeah, let's get him out of the way. So we have the Red... Or, the leader of the team, I guess I could say. Um, honestly, I was really... I really did enjoy his character, and I thought this was... A big bundle, basically. But it's still worth it that I have all the characters, and I'm really enjoying it. So we have Kaito, a.k.a. the leader of the Zenkaijers, excluding Zox, because he's not necessarily a part of the team, but he is an ally, nonetheless. And Kaito is actually really interesting, because he is our first, I won't say first leader, but he's... Initially a leader, but not red. There's actually a joke in a Zenkaiger special where they're like, "Oh wait, you're not, you're not a Red Ranger." Like, "Hey, <laughs> I'm not a Red Ranger." <laughs> and what do I mean by this? Well, here's Kaito, and here's the secret power, Zenkaiser. So this is his other form, Zenkaiser, and honestly, it looks like, as you can tell. It's not red. It is rainbow or white, depending on how you see it. Now, there's a lot of colors in it, and honestly, it's to match the identity of what came before it. Because originally, it is supposed to be a Red Ranger, but I guess they decided, oh yeah, let's make him red. Let's make him rainbow colored. So, he is based off of the first season of Sentai. Himitsu Sentai Gorinja, and he is, and the design for the suit is based off of Akarinja, which if I, I'm gonna put a picture of it right up above, as you get, I can tell it is not a red suit, but it is a rainbow color-ish suit, matching the colors of the first se team of Sentai. Honestly, I do like this suit. I don't. Anybody who complains about it is kind of run, wanting a Red Ranger. But, there was a special that did give us this suit in red. Well, I didn't think it looked... It looked good, I'm not gonna lie, but, like... This suit looks really fun, and I can tell they had fun designing it. It looks really cool. I like it. Uh, probably not gonna use the Zenkaiger or Two Kaiser Plus too often. But, like, it's good to have them. Big bundle. I really want to have them. Now, down to our final two. Which one do I want to use? This one too, I want to run out. Hmm. I don't know. Now nah, we're going to save best for last. So we're going to get into our our actual Red Ranger, but not the leader. And he could be a real leader. We're going to get with Zuran! So Zuran is easily... A character that I feel like everybody should love. He's one of my favorite characters. But not uh, not my favorite. He's second favorite, I guess you could say. But I definitely love him. He's he's easily like a, a an older brother character. Or like a father figure to the entire team. And I and generally enjoy him. And I just, I love him. He's, he's one of my favorites. I just have yet to find, make an episode for him. And he's... He is super cool, honestly. If you guys have not seen the Kaiser, just watch it for Zudan. He's awesome. He is also based off of a mech from Koryu Sentai Zudanja. And the mech, sorry if I mess up the Japan, by Japanese, Dai Zu Zen. Yeah, Dai Zu Zen. That is the name of the mecha. But what we know it as in is the first season, Mighty Morphin. And it's the... I forget what they called it back in Mighty Morphin. It's the Mighty Morphin Megazord? I forget what it was called. It's been a while since I've seen Mighty Morphin. 
but I do like Zudan as a character. He's one of he's generally one of the, my favorites that have ever have ever, ever existed. He's generally speaking, he's just one of those characters that I I love to see on screen more. But I just really and really enjoy him as a character. He's one of the fun more fun ones of the group. And I just I cannot wait to make a video with him. He's he's just gonna be fun. I just have to find a find a video idea for him. Now moving on to my favorite, but before we move on to my favorite, I actually want to get onto this box because it's there aren't too many there aren't too many in this box and I wanna get it out of the way so I can get it onto my favorite. Doing it a little bit different. Come on. There we go. Yes! Yes! Oh my gosh. You guys just don't even know how long I've been waiting for these packages. These, these, these packages are so awesome. Get around out of the way. Okay, so this isn't necessarily a ranger, so this is actually a little bit different. But this could have been a ranger had they actually thought about this. So introducing Two Kaiser's sister, Flint. Now Flint is a character that is introduced alongside Two Kaiser in the next episode, who is and she's just essentially like the little sister of Two Kaiser. She doesn't really Sadly, she doesn't transform like a bunch of Sentai fans wanted, but I do like her character. I think she's very interesting, and she does have her own unique character that's outside of her brother, Sox. And I hope to actually make that well known that she's not just the little sister of two guys, but I do want her to have her own personality. Um, if she was a ranger, she'd probably be a second pirate ranger. Generally speaking, she... She's honestly one of the coolest characters in the entire franchise. Like, generally speaking, she's awesome. I really wish they gave her more episodes to actually show her stuff. But generally speaking, love Flint. Love her ponytail. Just love her outfit. Loved her in this series. She's awesome. Next, we're moving on to our final, or second to last, third to last plush, second to last ranger. Now, introducing the character that probably is very mixed in my opinion, Stacy. Now, Stacy as a character is by far a mixed bag. She, he is, he is kind of like a. He starts off as a villain and basically helping the bad guys, but after losing to Zinkaiger and Two Kaiser, he. He croaks, and then he comes back even stronger, and then he kind of just does his own thing. It's so weird, because in the season season itself, he would have been a redeemed by episode, like, 30 and joined the team. But, like, he's still evil as of the time of this recording, and it's still still kind of, like, doing his own thing. I don't even know what, what his deal is, but he would have turned good by, around this point. But he is the ter stereotypical evil ranger. But he's not the evil ranger turned good trope. It's a bit weird with his story. He's very fun character to see on screen because he's just kind of funny. <laughs> and since he has a range, he's a ranger. He also has an alternate form. Introducing Stay Caesar. Yes, Stay Caesar. They were not creative with his name. But, um, yeah, Stay Caesar is his alternate form. It is a suit that is based off of another season that has not been localized over here in, at Power Rangers. So, the suit itself is called... It's the Stay Caesar, obviously. But, the season it's from is from Battle J Fever... And the it's based off of a Red Ranger called Battle Japan, I believe, or Battle J. I think they called it in the show. I forget what it, 
what they called it in the show. But I think it's called Battle J or Battle Japan. But I just really love his suit. It's very purple. It's very purple. Very purple. Very red. I, I like the red with purple. It looks really good. And I think it definitely does it justice as like a repainted ver repainted um suit. I'm going to get them out of the packages soon. But I really just wanted to show them all. Like generally speaking I really like these plushies. Like um. Stacy's probably going to be more of like an antagonist. Not evil because in the series he's barely evil as is. I haven't seen him shoot somebody. But like generally speaking it's like real, really important that I have these plushies. Because I generally love Stacy as a character. Now moving on to the final plush. And by far my all time favorite plush. The Jewel of this unboxing. The Pink Princess herself, Majin. Now, this is the final Zenkaiger we have, and the last little plush we have. So, Majin is basically the only girl, besides her Flint, a part of the team, and she's just unbelievably adorable, honestly. Like, I enjoy watching her on screen. I also enjoy watching how her actress portrayed her her and how she was excited to be in Sentai and I really enjoyed her. So she is based off of the idea of behind her is that she's based off of a season. And she's based off of Maga Ranger. Maho Sentai Maga Ranger. But for us over in the States, we know it as Power Rangers Mystic Force. So she deals in magic and that kind of stuff. And Zenkai Majin also takes after her Magi King. It is the for mecha for Magi Rangers, and it's such a, that's a really interesting form because they made Magi King a woman. They just gender swapped it and made it pink, and it's kind of interesting <laughs> about that. And I really, I really enjoyed the suit. I really enjoyed the suit. Sadly, I don't have any of the Kikanoid suits, so that's kind of the big take away from this. I, just, I don't have that. I just have the Kikanoids themselves, which is why I'm probably not going to use the Zenkaiju or Two Geyser suits when I do the plush series. Really, really just enjoy the plushies, really. I just really wanted to collect them because I got this one. And sadly, I just couldn't buy this one without buying the others because then I just had this one. What would I have done with it? So, that's all the plushies I'm going to do a showcase of all of them. Ready? Here we go. And that is the entirety of the unboxing. Honestly, it's not too much of a big unboxing. Not like, um, say you had a hundred plushies and you made an entire video dedicated to that. This video was so small, I could, I could have time to actually talk about how much I love the plushies. Um, like I said, I'm not going to use those suit plushies too often unless I'm actually going to use them in a in a video I need them in but I can easily do something with King Chonk and what I didn't tell you is that he came with a little postcard that you get if you bought King Chonk and for some reason I got two zoom out there we go I have two now it reads thank you so much five million subs is such an incredible milestone and I couldn't have done it without you Every ounce of support means everything to me. I promise there's so much more amazing stuff coming up. So thank you for sticking around. You gotta clap it up for SMG4. Not only did he give us that big, big pillow-like plush, but he also gave us these cute little cards. Look at that. That is adorable. And is that an Axel chunk I see? I might have to buy that. Now, concerning all the popular ones, most of you are probably gonna think it's Zuden because I love the color red. Or probably uh, Flint just because of how much I said I loved her. But no. My real favorites are possibly King Chonk. But among them are Axel and Machine. Like look at those two up there. They look so adorable up there. Especially you Machine. 
Yeah, I'm talking about you with your cute self. You are adorable. And I'm going to have to use you in videos as soon as I introduce you. Because you are possibly my favorite character. And I'm probably going to have to get somebody to voice you. Um, so, I'm probably not going to be able to do any of the female voices. So, if there are anybody who wants to voice Majin or Flint, let me know down in the comments section and I'll tell you what kind of voice I want you to do. Um, it's not that hard of a voice for Majin and Flint. They, they're regular girl voices. But, I want you to sound cute for Majin. And I want you to sound kind of like aggressive like Belle, but not too aggressive. Because Belle's not like a Belle's more aggressive than Flint, I, I can say. At least in my series, she is. But honestly, I do hope you all enjoy. And I'm going to say goodbye because this video is clocking up to be 40 minutes long. So, bye. And that's it for the video. Um, What do you guys think? What was your favorite plush that I show, showcased so far? For me, personally, it's a tie between Majin and Axel. I know most of you guys would think Axel is probably my favorite. But, like, this is adorable. You probably think, oh, yeah, it's pink. Yes. But she's also an adorable little cinnamon bun. She would not hurt a fly. She could beat you up. But she could not hurt a fly with this face. And the, the plush isn't doing it justice. This is like a tiny form of her. But again, she's adorable. And she will kick your tail. And she's so wholesome. I love her. I love her so much. But anyways, I do hope you all enjoyed. Comment down below about your favorite plush. And even comment down below what kind of video idea, plush idea you would like to see from these characters. Because generally speaking, they are awesome. And I plan on having them in videos soon. So be ready for that. Um, leave a like, add to your favorites. Want to see more Scorchon videos from this channel, subscribe. I make videos weekly or daily, depending on my schedule. If you're in, ready for the plush series, um, be ready for that. Because it is coming soon. And I do mean that. Hope you try to go up 10,000 subscribers and you would and you will get a special video from yours truly. Also, please leave me ideas for like ideas for these characters. Um if I need to, I will definitely leave a idea I have for all these characters, but like generally speaking, I do think that they are all going to be a part of the channel sooner or later. Just be ready for that. Um with that being said, I hope you all enjoy. Stay tuned for more videos. And remember, many hearts never apart. Let my blaze tonight's Blazix, blazing out. Until next time, take care.